Stop the cap. So I'm over here listening to Crimson Cure. Shout out to Crimson Cure. I do listen. And she's doing a video on and I and I saw it in my in one of my timelines. I don't I can't even think where I saw it. I was like, oh, that looks interesting. You know, um, kind of tired of the conversation, but um, you know, I'm listening to Crimson Cure and she has the woman, you know, clip in there. Poetic style is her, what her handle is. I think it's from IG. Um, and she's asking why black women are the least desired or the least to get married. And, you know, as a black man, we already know what a lot of the reasons are, you know, in terms of personality, behavior, boss bay energy, bad attitudes, you know, kids out of wedlock, uh, women not wanting to be cooperative. And the Crimson is going over the Crimson Cure is going over the comments. And, you know, looking in, at the comments and, and I like how she said, you know, some of these comments are typical and it's the the classic um either a black woman says i don't want to hear about it you know uh why are we still talking about this um what's the other one what's the other type of comment that you'll typically get uh from black women oh or, or the ones that want to blame black men and those ones i find real interesting because we know what the numbers are you know, so everybody, all this is going to lead to is a back and forth about black men don't marry us because they all want white women or black men don't marry us because they're all dusty. Or what's the what's the other one that they'll that they'll throw up? There's something else, doesn't it? It's, I'm like it's late and things are slipping my mind. Um, You know, or, you know, black men will say, you know, it's because black women have bad attitudes. But you got to look at the numbers. You know, the, again, that whole CDC and what the numbers are. And I got to make a correction because um, somewhere along the line, I dropped like I dropped the nine, which is about 800,000 people, because the the old 2020, the black male population was 19.91 million. And the black female population was 21.9 million. And now the black female population, I think, is somewhere, you know, it's just over 22,000. I mean, 22 million. I'm sorry. 22 million and some change. And then the black male population, you know, two years later, uh, 2022. Right. Because you got to remember, like, they got to collect all this data at the at the end of the year and so on and so forth. So next year, probably the Google search will say. Uh, the numbers for 2020, 2023, I think the numbers that are there are from 2022, but um, the black male population currently is 20, I think it's 20 million, a hundred thousand, something like that. And um, I just wanted to point that out. It doesn't change the the numbers too drastically unless you start going into you know, some of the disparities between you know, like the number of childless people, because obviously if you have if you have more men, that's going to. It should shrink the it should shrink the gap slightly, but it's it's not much. None, none of it changes, you know, too much. Uh, but I just wanted to make that correction, um, because even when I went over and I looked at the seat, the, somebody sent me um, the Pew Research because Pew Research was talking about black demographics. I don't like the way that they um, that they did that report. Number one, they included immigrants. Uh, number two, I don't know what the male to female ratio is. Like it doesn't give the breakdown of you have X amount of males and you have X amount of females. I can only assume that the total population male to female ratio is the same even after I removed the immigrants, which is 8.4% of the population, which is what I posted on my community tab. But that doesn't seem to be the case because Google's numbers in 2020, it was 19.91 million black men. And then now it's, you know, 20 million, 
uh, what is it? 20 million, 100,000 or something like that. 20, well, I don't know how to do that in decimal, 20.01 million men, right? And that makes sense over a two-year period, right? Because the Pew, doing the Pew research math, somehow, magically, 1.6 million black men are added to the population. That's not, that's not, that you're not going to see that type of jump in a two-year period, you know? So, you know, going with Google's numbers, there's about 20 million black men. There's 22 million black women. There's always been like a, 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 a 1.8, 2 million gap between black men and black women. That goes all the way back to Oprah Winfrey and her, you know, the numbers aren't available and there's 2 million more black women, right? So I don't know what, I don't know what type of math the Pew Research, you know, is doing, but, you know, they included the, the immigrant black population because the black population is somewhere just under 44 million black people. I think it's like 43.9 million, 43.8 million. Um, and the, that Pew Research, if you look right at the top, it says 47.9 million. Our numbers have never been that high. If they want to throw in the immigrant population, you know, see, like, notice how and this this goes right along the lines of Tariq Nasheed's conversations, you know, with this with this tether bullshit that they're doing, you know, where 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 they're trying to muddy muddy the, 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 the numbers, muddy the information, you know, when it comes to the African-American population. Um, but um, I'm saying you know, going back to what Crimson Cure was talking about and this woman asking about black women not getting married, you know, the conversation always goes to, you know, uh, black men are dysfunctional or black women got attitudes. But I'm saying, look at the numbers. Going back to that CDC report, 61% of black women are mothers. And 42% of those black women became mothers under the age of 20. So when you want to talk about why black women aren't you know, married, you got to look at the fact that a lot of black women are having kids before they, you know, really come of age to be of any maturity to get married. These women are coming to the market with kids. I feel bad for the childless black women, you know, and, and, and what's so crazy is black men have a worse reputation than black women in an area where we shouldn't have this reputation. Black women actually should have the reputation. And I don't say that to be nasty or 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 um, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for, you know, or attack black women in some way. Like these are the numbers. I'm not going to wear as a black man a scarlet letter about us as a collective group of men when when statistically number wise, it's not even it's not even not only is it not even close to what our reputation is, but it's it's actually all the way at the opposite end of the spectrum. Like I said, you know, what was it? 43 point, um, 43.9% of white men are child or uh, are, are, are fathers. I'm sorry. And only 46% of black men are fathers, meaning 54% of black men are childless. Like people are like, Oh, you know why you keep harping on it because this point this point is important. I would hate to be a black. Think about it. You got all the all the black women come online, the divesters, the the man hating women, and all that other stuff. And sixty one percent of black women are mothers. That means that if I had ten black women in front of me, six of those women would have kids, and four of those women would be would be childless. Thirty nine percent. Four of those women would be childless. Six of those women would be mothers. Where if we if, if 10 black men walked in the room, contrary to popular belief, if 10 black men walked in the room, and I don't even know how I would even calculate that. What do you want me to calculate up or down? Because you can't have, I can't have, if I got 10 people and, and then black men are at 54%, I can't have, I can't have half a person. So what are what do you want me to do? Round up or round down? We can say either half of black men are childless, or we can say six out of uh, ten black men are childless. I mean, it's it's the complete opposite number. Again, the issue is is that black women are out here having kids with a minority of black men that they deem to be sexy, you know, for whatever reason, game swag, charisma, you know, you know, they they want the futures, whatever it may be. 
But all this, all this baby talk, all this, the niggas abandoning it, it's a minority of black men. Mind you that, again, 36% of black men are married. So, so I mean, most men who get married do intend on having kids. So, so right off top, that 29% of black women, I got to take out, you know, excuse me, that 61% of black women that are mothers, I got to take out the 29% that are married. And then when you go over to the men, I got to take out 36% of the men, you know, that are married. You know, so, so you really begin to see that it's, it's, it's a minority of black men. It's like, it's like a, a, a third of black men, one third of black men that are actually getting, you know, uh, 61% of the black women in the community, uh, uh, uh pregnant, you know, like it's, like, it's crazy. And making them mothers, you know, other groups don't have, uh, these, this type of dynamic. And they were even talking about other groups. I mean, that's kind of a silly question because most people want to procreate and do procreate and get with their own and their, you know, par participating members of a community and there's reciprocity and there's benefits to being a participating member of the community. Once you get into interracial marriage and interracial dating and whatnot, you know, some of those things fall apart, right? Like, like, you know, certain communities want to keep resources in the community. Once you have mixed kids, ain't no telling how those kids are going to, you know, you know what they're going to have the greatest connection to. You know, white men are busy maintaining, you know, their white infrastructure. Only, what is it, 2.1% of white men marry outside the race? That's nothing. 2.3% of white women marry outside the race? That's nothing. If every black man in America married a white woman, it wouldn't even make a dent in the white population. No, the, the white population is declining because only 43 percent of white men are even reproducing. And then again, you know, when when it comes to the women, you know, 54 was it 54 point seven or something like that of white women, you know, are reproducing. You know, what I mean, like everybody's not producing like this shit is a complete revelation that most people most people don't have kids. You really got to get that in your head, or right? except for black women. But most most people don't have kids. Most men most certainly don't have kids. The only other the only other group I think that it's below is Asian women. Asian women are the only group of women that have a uh you know uh, that have the number of mothers in their community is less than 50%. I think it's uh the CDC report said 47.7 or something like that. And then Asian men have it the worst at 35%. Only 35% of them are reproducing, which are already I mean just off of the strength of that, you already know that these Asian women are getting with other races of men. You don't talk about, you know, who's stepping outside the race the most. It's Asian women. You know, but what I've noticed in the, in the comments is just like this, this like this lack of correctability when it comes to black women. And I guess I guess so, because um, kids are a permanent situation. You know, what I mean, like a woman could be she could be all that, you know, what I mean, but you got a kid. Right. If a chick's fat, she can lose weight. If she's got a bad attitude, she can change her behavior. You know, if, if she's got bad credit, you know, we could you know, you know, work that out. Right. Yeah. You know, there's a whole bunch of stuff. If a woman is not cooperative, she can become cooperative. Right. Whatever the heck the, the, the behaviors can change. Kids can't change. Once a chick has a kid, she has a kid. And again, you know, the, the current generation of black men, this this 54 percent of childless black men, they're not looking to, to play stepdaddy. That shit is a thankless job. You know, and congratulations to all the women, you know, who, 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 you know, made videos and came on social media clowning dudes and, and talking bad about men that took up these type of positions. And the, real, and, <clears throat> and the reality is, I don't know why my voice is cracking. And the reality is, is like, you know, when it comes to these guys playing stepdaddy, truth be told, most of the women, if they were childless, wouldn't date that dude. They wouldn't be with him. You know, again, and I said this in another video, I can't think of what video it was, but I'm saying it's, you know, it's a, you know, it's a, it's an exchange. You know, he, he he's usually older, 
Maybe he's got a little bit of money. You know what I mean? He missed the bus on settling down. She still looks good. You know what I mean? And 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 he's got to come and take care of her and her kid and raise him until the child is 18. And then, you know, he'll get like a Sierra on his arm. But a lot of women ain't even offering that. They ain't even offering that. It ain't like you, we got a community full of, you know, women walking around looking like Sierra or Six the Goddess, you know, that are that are, you know, single mothers. You know, but 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 that's got to be factored in y'all. Y'all at some point, you all are going to have collectively black women are going to have to look. And again, I'm not talking to you childless women. OK, I'm giving you the same courtesy as a childless man that I would want you all to give me. OK, I'm saying, you know, for these women to sit there and talk, think about it. That's the majority to ask a question. Why aren't black women married? And uh, to ask that question is crazy when the majority of the black community is full of mothers. That's crazy. You only got four out of 10. Four out of 10 is what you're looking at when it comes to childless women. The institution of marriage and the concept of it and people getting married was not the, the based off of some concept that some that the woman's already got the baby that she had with some other nigga and then uh, the, the the new dude's supposed to come through and then marry her and then start a, a a second you know a cluster of kids with her you know and and take on the kid that she had by another man that's the real problem y'all going off in the weeds and shit talking about the, you know having this conversation y'all going way off in the weeds you know, I got so many black women sending me all type of messages, scrambling the jets, bringing up that freaking that post from the CDC that 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 looks like it says 80 percent of black men, you know, have have kids uh, uh, by age 40. I'm like, no. Or what is the age was it age um, age 49. And I'm like, that's not what that says. I'm going to say it again. Again, that chart only includes the men who are fathers, which is the 46 percent. And it makes sense that the men who will ever become fathers, 80 percent of them will be fathers before the age of 50. That makes sense. The other 20 percent become fathers after the age of 50. That's why you see that little eight, the 80% there. When you go over to the women, the women, by 49, 87% of women have ever had kids. Okay? It's very rare that you get women over 50 that are having kids, but it does happen. But notice how that number is significantly higher for women. It's higher for women because most women will have will hit menopause and and they and they you know they they won't be able to have you know kids beyond 50 but it does happen you can google it and and do a search of, you know some 62 year old grandmother that got pregnant and you're like ah, how in the hell you know and again it it all depends on you know how many eggs they had cuz the, the your formation of eggs you know actually happens in utero um but um uh, the, the, the number of eggs that you had and when you first began menopause, I mean, not menopause, when you first began, um, um, you know, ovulating, you know, cause there's, you know, you have some women, they don't ovulate until late till 19, 20 years old. You know, that goes on, you know, especially in environments where women are not exposed to, you know, hypersexuality and whatnot. You'll see that with like Amish girls and stuff like that. Hmm. But um, not nah, like, uh, look, it's crazy at how, you know, and, and I got to I got to use my other account. And because like the SWP account is just like poisoned with gender shit because of the goddamn algorithms. Like, what if I just want to look at videos of puppies? You know, you got you to gotta go. I got to go and, and go to my like hidden like incognito account and use that account just to look at like other interesting shit you know on the internet and get away from you know the gender stuff but you know the fact remains that you know the internet is still and i and i see this and this is why i said i was like yo i'm 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 done with the with the back and forth you know on the gender war like right now i'm just kind of like giving guidance 
you know, I'll speak on it. You know what I mean? But but all those back and forth, like what ifs to the conversation, then what ifs that 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 day is over. 61% of black women are mothers, only 46% of black men are fathers. Like, you all are not understanding the significance of that. And there's more women than there are men. You're not understanding the significance of that. You know, all these, all these, you know, all these kids need mentorship. All the community is messed up. All these young black teenagers out here terrorizing the community and everything. And that does that conversation does not apply to. 54% of black men, which are the majority of black men. Like you got to understand when some, when you say 61% of black women are mothers, that is the majority of black women. When you say 54% of black men are childless, that is the majority of black men. That is the majority. Mothers in the black community, they outnumber everybody. They outnumber childless men, they outnumber childless women, and they outnumber fathers. And yet we're sitting around having a conversation talking about why black women aren't married. Uh, maybe because they already have kids that they had at a very early age. I mean, seriously speaking, who's who's getting married under who's getting married at 20? Who's getting married under 20? Raise your hand. But yet 42% of black women have are having kids under the age of 20. That's the conversation we need to have. And I know black women are scrambling the jets. Oh, it's because there's predatory men in the community. Uh, 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 uh. I already looked that up because other people went and tried to look it up, you know, as well and try to do research on it. I'm not saying that there aren't any predatory situations. But it's not the majority of the number that I saw, you know, was that 88 percent of the women, you know, were messing with uh, the dudes that were within five years of them. And again, you know, uh, the the number um, what was it? The the number of man, what was it? The the oh, yeah, the, the, the age cohort is just it's completely messed up. And it's the same thing as it's like. What people complain about, like what the Second Amendment that they talked about in the Supreme Court recently about our 18 year olds, they're adults, but they can't, you know, carry a concealed firearm. And it's like you're in this like weird limbo. At 18, you can vote. You can go and serve in the military. You can buy a long gun, but you can't conceal carry and you can't rent a car and you can buy cigarettes, but you can't buy alcohol. You know, it's a very weird, funky age to be in. And then again, like I said, you know, a 17 year old and a 21 year old are only, what is that, three years apart, right? So 18, 19, 20, 21. No. What is that? Five. What is that? Why am I going? Why am I going blank? Four years apart. Yeah. They're only four years apart. And, um, um, brain fart, brain fart. Yeah, they're only four years apart, and one is literally a minor, and the other one is considered a full-fledged adult, and they're only four years apart. That that's a that's a freshman dating a senior, you know, an 18-year-old dating a 14-year-old in high school. You know, it's crazy. Like in high school, I didn't think about it like that. In high school, most people weren't 18 though; they were 17 turning 18 in high school. When I, you know, with the seniors, they were they were they were they turned. 18 after they graduated and people come into high school and they're 13 and a half or something like that. And in freshman year, they're 14. But I'm just saying, looking back at it, I'm like, yo, that's crazy. Like if I ever become a dad, you know what I mean? And my daughter and I have a daughter and she's 14 and then she's like, oh, I'm dating this senior and he's a basketball player. And, and then that, that nigga's 17 and a half. I'm going to be like, mm. you know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying, like, looking back at it, back in high school, you didn't think about it. You were like, seniors, you know, the girls, they were all jumping on the seniors because seniors had cars and, you know, you couldn't fuck with it as, as a freshman boy. You were invisible. You know what I mean? But, but uh, you know, like, like, like that video that I had, that I posted where the guy was like, there was nothing you could do. There was nothing you could do, you know? You know, so 17-year-old chicks were a message with 21-year-old dudes that were four years older than them. 
that's not illegal, that's not statutory. You know, you, you can't call the cops and the cops are going to come to arrest. No, it's got to be more than four years. Most states are like that. You know, I remember they remember they tried to catch uh, what's the what's the boy's name? The one that had the adopted white parents, Marcus Dixon. You know, they were trying to get him on that because he was 18 and he had sex with a 15 year old girl. It was only three years between them. You know, but um, there needs to be more information on that. You know, more information on what this gap is. And but the interesting thing is, is I haven't heard a whole bunch of women saying that. That has not been a complaint. Y'all, y'all, y'all have come online. Y'all said black men kill us every five and a half hours. Niggas don't take care of their kids. Niggas can't hold down a job. Niggas is dusty. Da 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 da. Like that's that's y'all complaint. I ain't heard no. You know, I was I was 16 and I got pregnant by a 27 year old. I haven't heard no shit like that. Not saying it doesn't go on in the community, but that's not that hasn't been one of y'all primary complaints. Most of y'all are messing with guys that are close to your age, you know, um, but, um, you know, within five years, you know, the research that I saw, it's within five years. So you're 20 and he's 25, that type of shit. And that's when most men, black men are the men who do become fathers. That's when most of them are becoming actually black men are bimodal. So you know, half of them are becoming fathers in that, you know, 20, I think it's like 23 to like 27 age. And then the second wave is in their, in their mid thirties. It's bimodal. And, and, um, black women, the other, what is that below the other, like 20% are becoming pregnant, um, you know, in their thirties with the men who are becoming pregnant or not, or not becoming pregnant. What the hell? What type of LGBT community brain fart was that? Um, having kids, you know, in their 30s. You know, that's that's the mature way to do it. Get your shit together, get your finances in order, and then you have the baby. You know what I mean? But again, looking at that CDC report, most black most black uh, 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 people are in poverty that are having these kids in poverty, non-cohabitating, non-married. The white folks, the Asian folks, the, the the white folks and Asian folks are married when they have kids. They don't play that shit. The Hispanic people are like half of black people because they won't be married, but they will be cohabitating. So they'll be living together. The way that black people, you know, are having kids, you know, the, the, this is it, retarded. I'm like, you don't live with the dude and you're not married to him, but you're going to pop out his baby. And then you're going to hop online a couple years later talking about what you feel you deserve. Aren't we deserving of course correction? I mean, that that should tell you that should tell you right there. Notice like Nick, you don't hear niggas making any videos talking about, you know, uh, can I course correct? No, you're not going to see any videos like that. Again, 50, 54 percent of black men are childless childless while 61 percent of black women are mothers that changes everything 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 y'all gonna have to start coming up with new arguments and you're not you're not you know what i mean y'all are running around it's so crazy as i was just just addressing some asian chicks video about this shit you know women are like you know oh, it's about the 50 50 and these men they want you to submit on 50 50 da, 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 right and and i'm like uh, didn't you fight for equality didn't you fight for equality no but what you really wanted is you want you want you know pri you want the privilege of traditionalism with veto power with the ability to run off and do whatever the hell you want while he's supposed to pay for everything like it's a tr like you're actually in a traditional relationship but you really don't want to submit you don't we don't want to follow you don't want to cooperate you know because and and, and you really got to think about it like the, what's so harmful and why this narrative needs to change is because black women believe that black men are the bane of their existence they believe all the negative things that you could possibly say or think of as it pertains to black men. Meanwhile, 54% of black men have no 
uh, no legal binding connection to 61% of black women. They have no connection to that. They don't they don't have any babies that they've abandoned, right? You know, they, I mean just, I mean just none of that. They don't they don't have they don't have uh, um you know any of this, these claims that these women make about all these terrible, you know, relationships that they have not saying that anybody in that 54% can't be, can't engage in a terrible relationship. You know what I mean? But the, but bottom line, you know what I mean? Like if a dude, let's say you were with a dude and you was fucking a dude and he was fucking you and, and y'all was enjoying each other's company. And then the relationship didn't work out. That's not rape and pillage. Y'all be coming online acting like that was rape and pillage. If a dude, you were fucking with him and the relationship didn't work and y'all went y'all separate ways, that is not rape and pillage. He did not leave you with a baby and pump and dump you and now you a single mom standing you know, in the, in the, in the social services line. Stop it. That man, that man you know, didn't do anything to you. You know, and y'all, and, and another thing that women are killing me with online, with all this complaining, all this, all oh, these men, they wasted our time and all this other stuff. Like, like again, 42% of black women are having kids under the age of 20. Like, wh- wh- where, where are all you 20 something year old black? Oh, 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 I, I was, I was ready to get married right after high school. Bullshit. Bullshit. Y'all was out here fucking and sucking just like the dudes were. You were enjoying yourself. I can't stand when these women try to come online and try to act like they don't enjoy sex. Clearly, with 61% of y'all becoming mothers, clearly y'all enjoy some goddamn sex. Come on now. Y'all be coming up with, y'all come online with some bullshit. Some straight up bullshit. And the sad part is, you know, you got all these, like all these type of type of personalities, these DL Hughley type niggas, these Dr. Boyce Watkins type niggas, these uh these uh who who else? Who else is a is, is that type of the type of voice, you know, T D Jakes type of niggas, Steve Harvey type niggas, you know what I mean? These these older niggas that'll come through and be like, don't you talk about her. Don't you talk about our black queens. It's the black man who ain't doing this, that, and the third nigga. 46% of black men are fathers. 54% don't have no goddamn kids. Fuck out of here. The problem is not the majority. Like, literally, like, who are you addressing? Like, who, who do you address if you want to solve the kids out of wedlock rate in the black community? Where you going, if, you, if you literally turn to black men, over 50% of black men you're not talking to. Over 50% of black men, there's no reason for you to have an audience with them because they've already demonstrated sexual discipline. They have already, you know, demonstrated that they have dick discipline. They've already demonstrated that. But if you go over to the women, and here's the real fucked up part with the women, you can only really address a small minority of black women, you know, that four out of 10, and, and try to get to the to the young girls and tell them what the deal is before they go out here and they get pregnant. I, I, I truth be told, I blame a lot of the the black women who are mothers, because y'all would come online and y'all tell these you tell these girls lies. You make yourself out to be the victim. You don't take any ownership of what you did or what you contributed to. You don't y'all don't take any. That's that's why these young girls think that that shit is inconsequential. Y'all ain't telling them the truth. That's why y'all can talk all the shit you want to the brothers that, you know, get on my case about, you know, co-signing six, the goddess. And, oh, she's a stripper. Oh, she's a single mom. Blah, 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 blah. And she's telling these women the truth. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. She's telling these young women exactly what they need to hear. Being a single mom is not a fucking flex. What what more do you want? What more do y'all niggas want? I, I, like, I don't get some of y'all. Some of y'all got some incel fucking tendencies. You're like, oh, it's a female. Oh, you know, y'all, y'all just go crazy. I'm like, do you are you not listening to what she's saying? She's saying you don't want to do this. I'm like, damn, man, uh, you know, just saying we got some brothers that just are too far gone on the red pill. They got they're still stuck in their red pill rage type of shit, you know, but I'm just saying the the problem with even you can't address the 61 percent of black women that are mothers because they can't put the kids back. 
Making babies is a permanent situation. Once the kids are here, they're here. You see, and this is why this is, you know, such a problem, you know, in the black community. You got 54 percent of black men running around looking for 39 percent of black women. And then you got to tack on all the other stuff, whether a black woman is a feminist, you know, whether she's got the mentality of nappy headed hoba, you know, for Harriet, you know, fucking uh, 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 who's the other uh, uh, the other chick who's I don't know, some other chick. Like I am Loho, you know, with her. I know she's married, but, you know, that statement that she made years ago, I treat broke men the same way I, I treat men with money the same way I treat broke men. Like, what the fuck? No, you don't. No, you don't. Motherfuckers do not go out here uh, to, to get their shit together to be treated like a dusty. This is why all that rhetoric about, you know, oh, it's about the dustiness and it's about the niggas in 50-50 and all this other shit. All that drizzle drizzle shit is to mock y'all and hold a mirror to y'all about how ridiculous you all sound with that crap. You know what I mean? Acting like you're entitled to shit all because you have an inferiority complex about being a black woman and the way that white supremacy, you know, has shit on you and, and the position, you know, that black men and the, and the collective of the black community find themselves in and, and, the, and, and, and the pursuit of, you know, the myth of white womanhood. That's really why y'all trip about that shit. You know, but y'all ain't doing yourself any favors, not with the way that you all, you know, 61 percent of you all have have kids. That's the majority. I cannot emphasize that enough. That is the majority. That's beyond 50 percent. That is the majority of black women. And y'all and y'all out here cheering and jumping up and down about divestment videos of some black woman who's, you know, black woman abroad, black women traveling the world. And notice those women that are traveling don't have any fucking kids. They don't have any kids. They're in the 39 percent. You know, and, 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 and it's unfortunate because some of y'all, like, y'all come online, y'all want to be saved and all this other shit. Sorry. No, what you should be doing, and, and see, this is the selfishness of women. What you should be doing, if you really wanted to turn around the reputation of the collective of black women, then you should be telling the young girls what the real deal is. No wedding, no womb. That's what you should be saying. But y'all, you know, y'all, y'all ain't really with that because... Because in there, you'd have to acknowledge that you fucked up. You'd have to acknowledge that you made a mistake. You'd have to acknowledge that you have less value than this woman that's younger than you, that you already feel some type of way about her being younger than you and 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 getting attention that you're not getting now. And and the fact that, you know, since she's childless, she therefore has more value than you. There's a lot of like, y'all be running around acting like, oh, there's black men that have destroyed the black. No. No, y'all bitter ass, selfish ass, you know, freaking, I'm not putting the next girl on, asses have destroyed black women. You all have destroyed your own image just, just based off of your own goddamn jealousy. You ain't putting them on. Now, I can say the same thing about black men, but it would be in a different area. It would obviously be in the area, you know, of, of, of fucking, you know, in giving information on how to get money or something like that. You know, you got niggas running around, these old niggas and, 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 and not, there's not, I, I, for every video I can, you know, brothers trying to put brothers on game, like, you know, YouTube channels, like earn your leisure and shit like that. You got, you know, other dudes and they're not making videos, but guys in real life, they, you know, these OG niggas that, you know, they be on some like my precious, my precious, you know, they, they don't want they're like fucking Schmeagle and shit. They don't want to give any fucking, you know, uh, um, uh, damn information and whatnot. I ain't trying to put anybody on, you know, they, they're out here trying to compete with young men. So that that type of mentality does exist in the black male population. I don't want y'all thinking that it doesn't. But I'm saying your shit and the shit that y'all do, y'all try to act like it's just one big sister. No, the fuck it's not. You want to see black women break out into in, in, into you know uh, uh, mortal combat? Put some single wimp, some, some childless women up against some single mothers. You know what I mean? And it's either going the childless women and and you got, and that's another thing. You really got to think about that, right? Childless women in the black community can cannot set the standard. Childless black men 
can actually set the standard because 54% of black men are childless. They can actually set the fucking standard, right? Now, I had a back and forth with Cap about that because, you know, I'm like, if we're not having interactions with the women like that, or the women don't listen to us because we're not their baby daddies, but then again, they don't really even listen to their baby daddies. But I'm saying if we're not, if we're not in the desired camp, Right. Because obviously the women do want the men at some point. They wanted the men that they got pregnant by. But I'm saying if we're not in the desired category, then how can we, you know, uh, you know, shape the culture or define the culture? Right. Right. Like how does how does 43 percent of childless white men define the culture? Right. Like, I mean, excuse me, men, white men. No, yeah, no, that would be more than that. There would be like 50. What would that be? 50. And two is, uh, what did I say, 50, 54%. So they would be like 56% of white men and childless, right? They should be, if they, they define, they, sh- they define the culture, right? Do they? I don't know. But I'm saying when it comes to black women, how does, how do four black women go up against six black women? Think about that. How do four black women, four childless black women in a room of 10 black women how do four black women that 39 percent go up against six black women you see and 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 then you can then you could you know you start looking at it you start seeing like ah that's why we have this baby mama culture in the black community because it's the majority of them are baby mamas or i shouldn't say yeah the majority of them are baby mamas but the majority of them majority of black women are mothers. The majority of black men are not fathers. So so the conversations that black men are going to have as a collective are going to be completely different than the conversations that black women are going to have if black women all get in a room. It's going to be, you better not talk about a single mother. You better not talk about, and the black woman, and she is trying hard, and she is out here holding it down. And what about these niggas? And you know, I'm like, that's, that's what those four black women got to contend with when they walk in the room. You know what I mean? Can't nobody talk about them, their whoredom. Can't nobody talk about them busting it wide open. You know, can't anybody talk about who they choose, who they slept with. Nobody can talk about them. You know what I mean? You better talk about these niggas. Yeah, all, all, what is it, four of them? You know what I mean? Or, or five of them? You know, that, that, that that's half the black, that, what about the other five that, that, that you ain't looking at? The other five that you popping balloons on? The other five that you up there talking about pineapples? Pineapples! What about them? What about the mother five? You see, no, I mean, and you got to think there's like two million more black women than black men. And they run it and black women running around, you know, talking about, you know, you know, there's a there there's a shortage. But yet they have 54 percent of black men are childless to fucking choose from the the, the shortage is on the part of black uh, on the part of black childless black women. I got to be specific. That's where the shortage is. You know, and, and as and as Cap, you know, he, he's been mentioning this for a while about he's like, you know, because I showed him the videos of the women, they pop in the balloons. Brother doesn't even get the shit out. Nigga's a lawyer. Nigga's a, a, a dentist, a podiatrist. You know, you know, brothers got some, you know, they got their careers going. And then women be man, pop, 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 pop. I'm like, damn, the nigga didn't even get it out. He didn't even say what he did. You know what I mean? Like, like, and there was there was only one clip where the sister, like the women, they started popping balloons, and the other sister was she was looking down the line like, uh, why are y'all popping balloons? Like she was like, damn. And 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 Cap made the point. He was like, you know, you know what's funny is while these black women run around and they talk about how there's such a shortage of black men, you know, and it's like again, 54% of black men are childless. And they're all oh, there's such a shortage, and the niggas they ain't got their shit together, and they dusty, and this, that, and the third, and whatnot. But he's like, they sure as hell don't act like there's a shortage. When you really look at their behavior, when you look at the the how picky they are, they don't act like black women do not act like there's a shortage because there isn't a shortage. You see, 
there isn't a shortage, which is why they're not acting like there's a shortage. Black women do not, do not act like, you know, like a, 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 a person that was, you know, wandering in the Sahara Desert and they came across an oasis. You know what I mean? Like, oh, my God, water. You know what I mean? Like, no, black women don't act like that. As much as they run around talking about the numbers aren't available and there's just not an available black man at all. They're all, all our brothers are in jail. You know, yeah, yeah, all, all, what is it, uh, uh, anywhere from four to six percent of black men, are, you know, are in prison or something like that, that don't even make a dent. And mind you, you know, most people that go to go to prison are not lifers. On top of the fact that, what is it, 75 percent of the men in jail, and we know that black men are disproportionately in jail, but 75 percent of the men in jail are fathers, you know what I mean? So, so a nigga having a felon that ain't that ain't stopping black women from from having a nigga's baby. That ain't stopping them. You see? You know? So, so I, I'm just saying, like, when you when you look at the, the this is why this is so significant. I need y'all brothers to understand why these numbers are significant. Okay? Because again, culturally speaking, you know those childless black women. They got to go up against six other black women that got kids. And they're getting looked at like, bitch, you better not say nothing about me and mine. Right. Whereas a black man, I can speak. I can speak freely about that shit. I can speak freely about, you know, what, what our expectations are and what we're looking for. And, and, and I could talk about Ray Ray and Pookie and, 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 and talk about, you know, men who, who, uh, 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 um, you know, have already, already been married, already created a single mom. I'm like, nah, nigga, you can't sit with us. See, I can say you can't sit with us. Right. But a but a childless black woman, you're right? I mean, they like think just think about how like a high school cafeteria and how the tables are set up and shit like that. And the majority of black women that would be at a at a table, the majority of the women in that room are mothers. And you only got a table of like the nerd girls, you know, the, uh, four girls at a table trying to set a standard in a cafeteria, you know, full of fucking single mothers. That's the black community. So, 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 you know, the problems, truth be told, the problems that we have as black men, you know, with black women and this whole, you know, the, the them and them being single moms and everything else like that, like, you know, we're not the only ones that have problems with them because the childless women have problems with them too. You see? But when we get into other areas, attitudes, colorism, the matriarchy, feminism, that's where the, the, you know, the childless women, you know, end up falling off and we get, we get into it with them over that, you know, that's where you get into two childless, you know, a childless black man and a childless black woman, you know, are not getting along because, you know, she's got some boss bay energy or she wants to run shit, you know what I mean? And, 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 and we get into those, you know, classical gender war dynamics, but at least, at least, at least when those two are arguing, at least there's no babies in the vicinity. You know, at least, you know, we can get rid of that shit. You know, but like I said, then the argument's going to go into attitudes, colorism, uh, you know, who's cheating more and all this other stuff. And, and, and you know, what level the guy is on. And, you know, I, you know he's running around, I got options, I got options. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you got options. As a black man, as long as you include over the fence, I think, you know, if you want to make an argument, that's where a lot of the colorism comes from. You know, the, not only the expanded light skin universe and we know the history of colorism in the black community. But I'm saying I'm saying if black if 54 percent of black men relegated themselves to 39 percent, you know, of black women, you know, what I mean, there'd be, you know, a lot of dudes that would be, you know, left out just off of the strength of that. So, so hop in the fence and remember, you know, 80, I don't know what just happened, you know, but just remember 87% of black men, um, um, you know, they, you know, they, you know, they're with black women, you know, and, and, and you got 24% of newlyweds, black men are over the fence, you know, but, um, um, you know, it's still, you know, a majority of black men that are 
that are choosing up on black women. I'm just saying that if black men didn't incorporate um, other races of women into the space, which we already know, that you're going to find more of those other races of women that don't have kids at such an early age. So if they didn't incorporate those other races of women, you know, it would they would just be left with with again that sixty you know sixty one percent of black women who come back onto the market. You know, because I remember when I first came online, I remember I remember when we started having these conversations about single mothers. I remember I said to Kat, he got a good kick out of it. But I was like, what are they doing back on the market? I'm like, you should be married. Like, you should be off the market. Why Why is it? I, I'm complaining about, what you know, black women and this, that, and the third. And I'm like, why are there so many single mothers in here? Like, I can't throw a rock without hitting a single mother. Like, what? Like, what is that? And, you know, if, if a black woman threw the rock back, she'd have a 50, pretty much a 50, 50 chance of, of hitting a, 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 a baby, da- uh, not a baby daddy, a man that's a father versus a childless man. You see. Where, you know, for a black man, you know, you'd, ha- you'd be more likely to hit a single mom than you would be to hit a childless woman. So, you know, when it comes to these other races of women, you know, that that they act as a buffer, you know, whether it's, you know, dating or just fucking around, you know, whatever it may be, they act as a buffer where a man can experience, you know, relationships without having to deal with the dynamics of parenthood. So, you know, again, that 61%, that changes the conversation. It changes the calculus of these conversations. You know, I'm just telling y'all, it changes the calculus. And that needs to be acknowledged. But anyway, I'm done with this video. Uh, You know, shout out to, you know, Anthony Holloway. Thank you for the donation. Um, I want to make a, a, I got to, I'm building my list. I want to make a list of the people who have donated. I just want to make it a separate video and just give the acknowledgements there. That way I can, you know, give everybody acknowledgement all at the same time. I was thinking about doing it kind of like, you know, Professor Black Truth, where he like gives his acknowledgements like, you know, every, you know, at the end of every video. But I'm going to be real, like, like my, the, the, the donations I get are, they're not consistent. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're very inconsistent, you know? And I'm, I'm not saying that like it's a bad thing. I know bad economy, everything. You'll never hear me talk shit, you know what I mean? But um, I'm just saying it's inconsistent. So, you know, um, I'd rather acknowledge everybody like in a, you know, when I get like 10 people, you know, or 20 people, I'd rather acknowledge everybody in a group than just, acknowledge, you know, give these random shout outs, you know, every time I'm making a, making a video. Um, that get where the person kind of gets lost in the sauce. I want people to be acknowledged uh, who support the channel. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm done. That's that's all I got to say. Um, I'm going to go and uh, finish the rest of Crimson Cure's video because I got like halfway through it and I, my, my brain started, you know, churning and I was like, oh, I got to make a video, you know? And so, uh, you know, that's what I did. Anyway, that's my video, SWP out. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe.